What is going on lads and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best managers or some of the best managers in Dream Team. So obviously it depends on your play style, it depends on what formation you want to play, the players that you want to play with and how you play the game, like what your skill level is at the game. There are a couple of OP or overpowered uh, formations and tactics which we'll get into in a couple of seconds and there is a couple of options on here there's also a couple of cheap budget options but mostly you're going to have to test out what works for you and play you know the game the way you want to play it because that is going to be the most effective way just keep improving and improving how you actually play the game learn the mechanics pick a manager that suits you and get right into it so kicking us off we have got ac milan's manager cachetti he has a cost of 42,000 GP, so he's kind of a mid-range, maybe early starting uh, GP cost. He's got 75 quick counter, 75 out wide, and he also gives a boost to veteran players. So any player age 30 or over is going to get a boost of 100% to his match experience points after a game. So that's pretty good if you were having a veteran squad or you know a team of 30 plus um aged players is really 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 nice and again he's playing a nice 4-5-1 formation that's very adaptable you can switch and drag and drop formations and adjust formations and all that yourself now anyway so that doesn't really matter as much but it does matter with the movement which we'll get into towards the end of the video next up we've got gasparini so this guy is very popular with content creators and streamers because of his very high quick counter uh, play style proficiency which is one of the most op or you know meta um play styles which is like you know fast breaks catching people on the counter you know rushing forward with six people attacking at one time including your dmf or whatever making the runs he also has a very unique and varied play style or formation which is a three four three which is cool next up we've got our budget one budget manager 14,000 gp hoisman or hoisman He's got a nice 70 for possession game. So this guy kind of switches it up a little bit. He's also got long ball counter. This is a budget option, lads. You're not going to get a massive, you know, a massive amount of uh, variety. But he does have a very unique formation. I think if you are leaking goals at the start or you're starting out and you're trying to build a squad, this guy just packs the defense that you can really get some solid center backs and put them into this squad to get the most out of it. Um, <clears throat> next up we've got Luis Enrique 93,000 he increases midfielders uh, match experience bonuses um, by 300% which is pretty cool for his affinity he's got 80 possession 74 quick counter I think for his price um, he could be a lot higher this is probably a bit of a controversial one to have him this low on the list because he is absolutely brilliant manager he's got a 4-3-3 flat 4-3-3 which is really nice Barcelona style um, which you can do a lot with and he makes you know it makes a big difference if you sign him next up we've got Allegri so very very similar um, Allegri is actually more expensive but he's got it flipped so instead of the possession game he's got quick counter which is 80 which is very high for a coach this cheap you know 110,000 GP isn't a massive amount of money I mean you can do the current event at the moment the starter cup and you could literally afford him with change left over a lot of change left over and Allegri has also got a 4-3-3 and he improves um five star players as well so he gives them a boost which is which is really nice and I think as you start to get a god squad or a superstar squad or legends or featured players you do need to get one of these you know high powered managers so again a very nice manager to check out now <clears throat> we have to mention pep right he's 500,000 gp he's got 87 possession game this is a guy that interests me because i like to play possession i like to hold the ball and he also has that imp increase to the five star players as well but i think for 500,000 gp lads he's just too much i think there's other options there he only has 70 out wide and 71 long ball so if you're not a possession based player you might struggle especially with his base formation now these formations might be changing with the live updates we don't know yet but we can keep an eye on that but i just think that you could spend five hundred thousand gp unless you're absolutely swimming in it like monty burns you probably don't need pep in my opinion uh we've also got ripa so this guy is obviously tottenham's manager <coughs> 110,000, so puts him in the same price range as allegri and i think to be honest with you he's probably a better option in terms of having two really solid tactics long ball counter and out wide you can really design what team you want to have and have so many options going forward and it also kind of future proofs if you sign a new player and he's got a high uh, out wide formation or high out wide player proficiency you don't need to train him up you know you can just give him a boost of 10 to bring him up into the 90s and you're good to go so it's a lovely option to have as well i think that's why he is I think one of the better ones there and more valuable, definitely in my opinion. Next up, we've got Valbuena, who is obviously Diego Simeone. 
Now, I know a lot of people are using him. He is very, very, very effective at the long ball counter. So basically, when you turn over possession, all the players, you know, like rush forward. Like I know Sepp is using him at the moment with his streams and he seems to be doing really well with him, you know, in different play style and stuff. Um, but again, like this manager isn't going to suit everybody. Do you know what I mean? Like he's got a 4-4-2 or 4-2-2-2 formation, a flat in the middle, and then his two wingers are going to get the width there. But it's very compact. It's very defensive. Um, and again, for the price, you know, he is a bit more expensive than the other managers. Next up, we've got Klopp, obviously, for Liverpool. He's probably, I think he's the second, yeah, he's the second most expensive manager, rightly so. And he's got incredible quick counter play style proficiency, 87, which is the highest, I think, in the game of any manager apart from Pep, who's got 87 in possession. So these two guys are, you know, right at the top. Um, and that's why they're the most expensive. I think if you're going to be picking Klopp, this is probably the best formation you can pick if you are going to be splurging out 480,000 GP. You need to be getting big bang for your buck and definitely just really embracing that quick counter style. But our, our winner is, or not our winner, not that there's any ranking to this, but Kudrimi. So Poch is the guy that I have put at the top for a load of different reasons, right? Firstly, he's got three formations, or three play style proficiency. Possession game, 74, quick counter, 78, and out wide, 76. So it gives you loads of options, loads of mobility, loads of versatility and variety that you can actually swap and choose around. Also on top of that, he's 91,000 GP. I like his 4-5-1 formation. You can easily turn that into a 4-3-3, which we'll show you in a second in the formation screen. Because obviously people, you know, you know now that you can swap and change. It's not like my club with the managers that are locked in a formation. You can change the formations every game. You can go 4-3-3, you can go 4-5-1 at the drop of a hat. So I think for his quick counter of 78, he doesn't excel in anything. But if you're starting off and you're looking for a manager to do it all, you can pretty much turn a 4-5-1 into a 4-3-3. You know, have a very deep center back, um, you know, player or base or whatever way you want to describe it. Like have a really, really back line and then have your wingers up like really high up. So you turn it into a 4-3-3 very easily or a 4-2-1-3. So there is a lot of options with that. And obviously you can then put on your different styles. You know, you can go into uh, your tactical options like anchoring or you can choose which players that stay back, which players go forward, which players, you know, are like stuck in their positions or anchored in their positions. And obviously, if you switch through the play styles, you can see there the play style level goes down to match the players. As you can see here from me, I have defensive on Paddy V, Patrick Vieira. So he's going to just be anchored in his position. He's not going to move forward. So when he passes the ball off, he's just going to slot back into his defensive position, his defensive little zone. So you'll see a couple of examples here. I'm playing with an out wide manager as his play style. So the manager I'm using is out wide. So when my team get possession, we get the ball back. You can see here that I get the ball out in the wing with Corona. And even though I put the run in central and I give the ball in central, Corona is going to continue on, give wit, and he's going to continue on his, his run out wide rather than cut inside into the middle for an easy sweat across the finish. I feel a bit naughty for that one. Again, here you'll see I'm on the attack. Corona's hugging the, the touchline. Look where Reese James comes, hugging the touchline to give me the option out wide, like really, really out wide. The managers this year in the tactics are a little bit more streamlined and basic, but they actually do work when you actually look at the AI and stuff. Obviously, there's some issues that still need tweaking, but again, you'll see Monayin, instead of cutting into the middle, he's going to stay wide and he'll only cut in right at the end when the chance of putting it out wide to him is kind of closed. So he cuts the gap in to be at the far post rather than running into the box. So also lads as well, don't forget, check out my other video on the play style proficiency where I cover the training and stuff. But also this is very important if you're wondering why your team is low on play style proficiency, you need to actually train it up. So don't just pump in. If you sign a legend, you get all excited and you want Ronaldinho with 90 pace don't forget to put up his play style proficiency because if it's stuck at like 45 or 55, you can't improve it. You know what I mean? So that's a big tip as well that you need to do. And obviously then you can just do all your stats as normal. So that is it for me, lads. Sorry, I have to um, be a bit quieter when I'm recording this. But yeah, that is it for me. I'll be back. I hope this helped you out. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Other than that, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know who you're using as a manager. If I've missed any of the OP managers, let me know. If I've missed anyone, I like your guys' recommendations all the time. So yeah, that is it from me. Peace.